Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold's at 1881, new record high. Blue right through resistance at 850, currently trading uh, at about 1855. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, <clears throat> other than what we've been telling you. Buy gold. You're going to see gold with more up moves today and possibly on Monday. This is due to the fact that the European banks, particularly Societe Generale, are uh, tottering. And no one seems to know the depth of their problems. Uh, the last few months, as we put out a comment uh, from HSBC, that the markets have been ignoring bad US, U.S. data, as you know, at Waters Capital, we have not been ignoring bad U.S. data, but the markets are starting to price in <clears throat> the poor U.S. economy and the likelihood that the U.S. economy is not going to move in any solid ways uh, for the foreseeable future. So if you're looking for an opportunity and your friends are telling you not to get in gold, haven't they told you that since gold was 1100 That was not even a year ago. So when are you going to get in? The opportunity in gold is present and moving forward. Very responsible, sober, non-gold bugs are calling for gold to be $5,000 over the next 12 to 18 months. That's a huge return. We also have some trading strategies and some option strategies that will enhance the return if you'd like to learn about them. So structurally, we want to also point out that the gold options have set records for open interest. That means more and more people are buying gold options and they're keeping the options open. As you noted, Venezuela has nationalized gold. Now, there's been a little tickle about uh, nationalizing in South Africa as well. Be on the lookout for some of these uh, movements in countries that are not so economically solid, nationalizing gold. Though in the Venezuelan case, it seems that they have to <clears throat> deliver a number of tons to gold to cover loan guarantees given to Brazil, China, and Russia for previously supporting the uh, Venezuelan dictatorship. So we want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. I want to just throw out a couple of things that uh, don't appear to be related, but I think are very related. The Russians, that is Vladimir Putin, who runs Russia, has already started in a, in what he's calling a quasi-European Union involving former Russian states. So they've already dealt with some issues relating to borders and customs. It is our view that Putin plans to reestablish the Russian Empire. Uh, remember, he's an old KGB man and an extremely, extremely smart, to put it mildly, genius level type operative. And he sees an opportunity because the European Union is A, tottering, and B, more demanding of democratic practices uh, in terms of government behavior than Putin is likely to be. So he is, in my opinion, starting forward to create another Soviet empire. So we want you to just keep that thought in the background as you're, you're watching what's going on. Interestingly enough, the Russians have been not affected at all by the recent recession, depression, and other everywhere else in the world. So this is Arnie Waters, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. If you want a specific investment idea, we've got a new partnership that's going public in six or seven months called Port Huron Partners 2. That's available. Give me your a call on 781-380-8888. Keep swinging.